I don't cry. I don't feel anything. There we go. There we go. That's happening. Classic comedian. <laughs> I don't feel shit. Do people shit. crying annoy you? Yes, they do. Yes, like, you, they know, come you off feel that weak. on the inside like normal people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. There we go. We're going now. <laughs> so uh, the first thing I wanted to say to you is when you walked in, uh, I told what I say. You say you looked, you looked different. You looked yes. like you were in shape. I didn't want to tell you you looked fit. I just want to tell you where you look different. You look really different. Yeah, I, I lay, You are. You do look fit, actually. I'm you look like lay, you lost a bunch of weight. You laying lost off before. the booze. I, I was, as I joked on my podcast, I, I was putting on like Baldwin weight. <laughs> you know, like none of them are really fat, but they're not in shape. They yeah. got those pizza, like, cake, yeah, and, and, right? and Guinness like torsos. Padding, like padding in weird places because they're, they're yeah. all kind of yoked a little bit. Like they got like their lats or their traps or whatever. It's called, it's called button on. down shirt shape. <laughs> And it's one of those things where as a guy, you continue to lift as you eat like shit. So you're putting muscle on bacon double cheeseburgers. Right? That's what I had going on. And uh, I was up. I was I was approaching. I'm water while you talk. I was approaching a buck ninety, and wow, I, and I am only uh, and I'm I'm just it's a, a sh- tiny tiny just man. a shade under five ten. <laughs> I would say I'm average height, but as as this next generation comes up with their. Uh, their processed food. I think they're getting in a couple extra inches with all the horse tranquilizers they're putting in there. So you're a, no, you're a nor- actually. I, if someone asked me about you, like in your absence, I would say uh, that he's you were a piece tall. of shit. No, no, no. Well, I'd say that too, but <laughs> I'm just talking about your. I don't talk about the quality of your personality. Uh, I would say that you're that you're like. If someone asked me, I'd say he's tall. I'd say we were like about the same height. Right. Uh, so lay off. Like you said, you're five ten. Just, just, one, just. 10, one, nine. I'm one of the few guys who doesn't lie. About his height. About his height. You don't add um, it. I'm Doug Flutie height. I'm five nine and three quarters. <laughs> and the amount of times I've been in bars and I ask to somebody, "How tall are you?" and they're a little shorter than me. They're like, they're like five eleven. You're like, no. Uh, and they go, "How tall are you?" On. No, I don't even say it. They go, "How tall are you?" I go, five nine and three quarters. Good night. You're like, you're like six six one. No, no. In no, your world, no. in your lie, <laughs> with, well, your, with, yeah, your, with your metric your system, there, yeah, maybe. <laughs> are you in kilometers? I don't know what you're Hilarious. doing. I'm two point seven pound. Um, yeah. Yeah, but you, so you so you stopped drinking, and then I had to. Li- it's just uh, you know I'm a road dog. I go out every two weeks. People don't understand that about comedy. That it is uh, even if you're not like a drinker in the traditional sense of like being an alcoholic, booze is unavoidable. It's free. It's free, and it's every and they, it's after even every gig, on you. it's free. I always ask my uh, people like that. I just say like, if you had a job yeah. where when you were done, it was open bar and. In a you lot of drink places, on the, on the job. Yeah, they'd bring you. You yes. bring. Would you like a beer at your desk, yes. sir? Would you and like the, a booze? And the in people your you work with will send a shot up if, yeah. <laughs> if you just even hint about it. <laughs> yeah, like I'm you thirsty. know, I was drinking Jameson the other night, and then all of a sudden somebody sends you <laughs> up buck, one, ke- like a kettle of Jameson yeah. comes up, to and then then stage. a crowd of peer pressure. Do it. Do the What's shot wrong with you. Yeah, like that's first of all. There's so much pressure. I don't even know where it comes from because. I, I haven't stopped drinking, but I am trying to cut back. And Last time I remember, you were a, you were a bourbon, bourbon I, I girl. I still love bourbon. I'll always yeah. love bourbon. I would have sex with bourbon if it was a dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm getting drunk and late at the same time. What's happening? Uh, but I, I'm trying to be more of a – I'm just trying to be more judicious – you know what I mean? Because you just you feel it. You just start, first yeah. of all, you start to feel like fuck the weight or your discipline or height. You just feel it so much more. You, when you wake up in the like, you have that thing where you wake yeah. up at four in the morning, like oh, shouldn't I shouldn't have had that second glass of wine. No, I I, <laughs> I had a, my bottoming bottoming out thing was I think I was somewhere in Texas, and me and uh, DeRosa were riding oh, in DeRosa. The, yeah, we're riding in this waitress's car. And classic. Well, car, of course you were. And Why wouldn't it, you be waiting in a waitress's car? We're just no. We're, we're riding to some house party, and she's doing the whole. Again, why wouldn't you be yeah, riding to a house exactly. party in a waitress's car? That's this is the glamorous <laughs> stand-up, folks. I don't think you knew. I got picked up in a bitch's 1986 Honda yeah. to go to a dude's house. I don't know and drink keg beer out of a plastic cup because I roll like that. that. I'm it. a headliner. That was it. And she was she was saying shit like you know I have uh, Anga, I'm sorry I have a cat. So, like, you know, the covered in hair. And I show up, and at one point, I'm hammered playing with a bulldog. That's all I remember going, this thing is awesome. Oh, God. And somebody finally. Oh, that's always the last resort of the wasted, start talking to house pets. Yeah, somebody said to me, going like, because they weren't at the show, you're like, you're like that, you're that comedian guy. <laughs> right I'm like, like yeah. That. And they go, well, you, you did a couple sketches on Chappelle's show. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And he goes, it's like, dude, I can't believe you're here. Why are you here? Yeah, and then I, I actually thought I was like, you know, totally, you know, stroke my ego. Then I thought for half a second, like, yeah, why am why I am here? Why am I here? My dad had five kids by the time he was my age. Okay, I'm a fucking yeah. loser. And I'm drinking in the backyard of a stranger's house and talking to his dog. Yeah. yeah Joe, on the other hand, of course, was having a great time. Joe was living yeah. it up. Living He's it up. He's got pot. 
<laughs> no, 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 he wasn't. Joe did nothing, nothing illegal. No, well, Mm-mm. is pot really illegal anymore? Or is it just uh, frowned upon? Well, out here it's ridiculous. It's just crazy. P- people are so. I feel like we're in fucking Canada. Like you just walk by, people just smoke a dope on the street. Yeah, I don't even try to hide it anymore. I don't think it's. I don't think uh, a seventeen-year-old dude can really carry off the glaucoma fucking act. Oh, the back. Yeah, I might have back right. pain. Yeah. Oh, I got some. I got some constricted blood vessels in my left leg that require me I, to I pie think, all day long. I don't think that. Uh, I, I think weed is is. It's just. Uh, and it's kind of like on the same level as booze, mm-hmm. where you can, you know, you can abuse it, and then you, some people can just sort of smoke it, and yeah. it's fine. And they're so just, they like high yeah. functioning potheads. I yeah, know, I like can't. Rogan. Rogan, like I, I've, you know, anytime I like if if I smoke weed or have yeah. a pot cookie, that's it. I that's am a giggling, <laughs> giggling silly mess. <laughs> And then I get paranoid, and then I just want to be in a small room where it's safe. Yeah. And Rogan, no, no mirrors. yeah, Rogan will write like another two hours of brilliant material, <laughs> and just totally be functioning. I'm like jealous of it. Right. Like he gets like uh, insanely like Productive. creative. Yeah. And like you know focused. I don't know. It's a uh, we're, we're trying to adjust the podcast yeah, I'm giving, table giving. here. Bill, I want Bill to have uh, adequate. What's well, wait? You you bought the shortest uh, microphone cords here, you know, so I, I feel like I have part, to hunch uh, over. This, this is like is... doing a podcast in coach. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is economy, <laughs> middle seat, Greyhound bus. You know what it is? I when I did, when I bought my equipment, I wanted uh, this. I wanted the smallest footprint because I wanted to be able to put all my shit in my purse. Because I'm a girl. Right. That's the one part of being a girl that like really was dictated. Like, what's the least amount of shit I can carry with me? So I podcast uh, into my iPad. And then my, I have two phones and then, like, just some stuff. And I could do it there without the stands. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can be anywhere. I could no, I have my little $90 mixer yeah, that I right, bring with me. Yeah, right, a little I do. I do the same thing. <laughs> and anytime I, I, I send it through, there's always – if I'm in some, like, state, like uh, – I don't know some corny state. They'll corny say they'll, they'll be like, they "What is corny. that? Some sort of a device? A device for yeah, blowing yeah, shit for up. blowing shit up." Yeah. And they'll look if at a bit. Blowing it, shit up, you mean mixing up the beats and rhymes? Yeah, then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll Ex- blow shit up at the club. So you, I don't think you can make those jokes post nine eleven. I think pre nine eleven. I think you it would can't be even funny. laugh in line. Like I, I was just flying through Santa Fe, and we were laughing, and they like they, we got like a hairy ass eyeball from the TSA guy. <laughs> like there'll be no mirth in line. There's no middle ground with those guys. They're either psycho level like nothing's getting yeah. by this guy or they're singing with the music that's playing yeah right and like updating facebook like you look to see if they're looking yeah. at an x-ray of your bag and they're just updating the facebook status. i don't do the full body either really i i opt out do you, do you and then i laugh your when muslim they muslim religion prevents you from being touched by an, no clean, it's like i'm, I'm not i'm tech. not getting head to toe radiation oh, so going out coming back going hands, out that. coming back so that would i go out twice well, a on month the plane. you get radiation on the plane you actually get more radiation in your flight than you get on the and like, yeah so why why add to it yeah why why add to it? Because you want to win. You want your tumor to be the biggest out of everybody. So you know, oh, have like is that a half ass tumor. <laughs> I want to go quickly. No, I just, uh, I, I just, it's, I don't know. It, the, the whole thing is just stupid. So then what? So if they say. Pat uh, me down and I, and it's, and it's more uncomfortable for, for the them. dude doing it for me. And I, I'm laughing every time when they go, Bill, I'm going to touch this area here. Is that okay? I'm like, yeah, do it up. When they do the back of the hand over, over my buttocks, it's just funny to me. <laughs> Bill just, just wears like really baggy hip hop pants and no wonder. I, yeah, get in there, buddy. Get, get in there. You, you never you, know what I could be hiding. Do your job. <laughs> it's not gay on my end. I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm standing you, with my hands up. You're touching me. What, I don't even know what's in there. So You're go in there. Me. Let me know. What did I put down there? I can't remember. <laughs> I, have, I have short-term amnesia. No, I don't, I don't. And I also don't like when I stand in the line where they don't have it and then they see me and then they tell me to go over there. Because you look suspicious. I'm a control freak i do not i look like no. ron howard <laughs> i really don't and not even richie cunningham ron howard my thinning look hair like i look i look like ron howard. i look like ron howard when he right around the time when he was directing splash <laughs> when he he never took the baseball hat off again you still got most of your hair you, I your hair looks great actually i you used to you know what? your head and you have a lot of hair bill I had, well, I, I, I did a preemptive strike. Did you? I was starting. You were worried about I was it. Start, no, I was starting to go, and mm-hmm. I just said, I'm not a Rogan guy. I'm not a hair plug guy. You're going to rub creams, creams yeah. on your head every day. Look, uh, unlike you, I'm not a sex symbol. So I can, <laughs> I can age naturally. It's I don't great. have to. Yeah. The people no. cannot see how, how anti sex <laughs> symbol I'm. I've, I've literally <laughs> washed my hair, slept on it, and then stuffed it oh, up. Oh, and your hat corduroy right hat. My corduroy hat. I got a awful. hipster doofus. You know how psyched I was to do that? Oh, she's going to come oh, in looking like look a great. supermodel. Why the fuck would I dress up to do a podcast? 
Well, who am I? Fucking a Kardashian? Yeah. You look like you have like a 1.6 grade point average right now. <laughs> Your parents are calling you. That's how you're fucking... I'm really disappointed. I'm Girl on Guy podcast, I really expect them. I'm like, oh, it. she's... We're at this, there's this, gonna be, this there's gonna cool be visual place. There's going to be visual aids. There's going to be porn. You, get, you know what you got? You got another fucking comedian. Just like, you know what like, I feel like? I feel like we're in a three-year relationship. You don't give a shit anymore. I don't give a shit. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've known your ass for like 15 years. You don't it's get over. shit from it's me. It's boring. I don't even have shoes on. I came in here with fucking flip flops. <laughs> you Ugh. get nothing. You get you get mental love. You get no physical love. So let's go back to you being petting the, the bulldog in fucking Iowa in the backyard and it was feeling Texas. Okay. So I love bulldogs, but I got talked out of them because people talk to them like if you're ever going to buy like an English car. Right. It's the same thing. Like just the amount of money it's going to cost in maintenance. Parts are expensive. Yeah, and they just tell me, oh, they got the flap in the back. You got to cut that down. That's like eight grand. The you flap gotta... in the back? What's that on the back of their neck? No, no, in, in, in the back of their mouth. Like, they have tremendous problems breathing. Oh, because they're, they're Out inbred. of the womb, they they're can't so breathe. Inbred, right? yeah. yeah, well, yeah, I don't know what it is. I it's... think they just breed these, these purebred dogs with each other, and they just end up, like, developing crappy. Yeah, they have that, but also uh, they, they were bred to, uh, I don't know, F- fuck with bulls, basically. If that's, I hope that's not too technical. So basically, I, so, I learned something. Just yeah. tell us some science. So they wanted them be, to be like that, and evidently they didn't care that they they were going to have problems breathing. So uh, See, they just to, so they always have to have, they have to have surgery, just like baseline surgery. Well, the, there's stuff that you you look like the, when you buy like a bulldog. Like people tell me, I can't even remember half the stuff. Like look at the 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 like their nostrils to make sure it's got a nice. And I was just like, oh, just my God. get a leftover dog from the yeah. pound. No, so we, got, we, got a, uh, dog. we got a pit bull instead. Did you? Oh, that's good. Not yeah, planning on awesome. having kids. She's awesome. No, no, they're actually, they're great with except kids. For them when they, except for when they eat them? No. They do. They don't. Oh, I'll Google bulldog yeah, ate Google. my baby exactly. and see and how many exactly. kids come up. They, they, uh, you know what they're like? They're like how black people get treated in the news. Don't one make person, this a One you person. You have a whole hour and a half for it One person snatches a purse. In your community, and then that's it. <laughs> You're going to get kicked out of your gated community, always, and that's like, how the pit bulls. Pit bulls, are, the, their nickname used to be nannies. They used to use them to watch kids. The little rascals. Petey was a pit bull. All right, and, I, and it all comes down to the ownership. And I'll tell you this right now: I am a high strung psycho, and my yeah, dog well, was becoming a high strung psycho, <laughs> and I had to take it to a, a, a trainer. And he worked way more on me than he did on the dog. <laughs> and now, you now I'm chill. Them. And I, this is actually how I know if I'm going to, like when I drive with my dog, yeah. which is in a Prius, which is hilarious. <laughs> oh, total Gemini. Gay it up. To- total Gemini. <laughs> no, but I got, but I got, I got the, uh, I got the pit bull. So it's, it's confusing perfect. you. It is. It, well, no, I bet you actually that there are a lot of guys who would love, it's like, cause it's got a butch, but then you're progressive. You got the little yeah. Prius and then you got the No, but they dog. know that I didn't get it to fight it. They know that I rescued it the yeah, second yeah, I see the see Prius. It, they, yeah. got some those like vegan dog biscuits yeah. in there. <laughs> oh, he's, he wants to hold hands. <laughs> so they, uh, this is how I know is if the dog is if it's up near, you know, we put the seat down, but if it's up near me, mm-hmm. I know I'm driving fine. But if it's backed way to the back of the hatchback, oh. that's when I know I'm driving like a psycho because I'm slamming on the brakes and You're it's digging in. Out. No, it's digging in so it doesn't, because, you know, it doesn't have a seatbelt. Now, you got a Prius and you got a bulldog and you feed them vegan no, no, biscuits. Pitbull. And, or Pitbull. And you don't have like a little doggy seat for him. That would be the epitome. I w- I'm going to literally I'm going to follow you with my iPhone until I just see you like strapping that dog in a little doggy seat. I, I'd, I'd do it you, if it would let. No, my, my dog would rip it apart. It doesn't. It doesn't like fully an LA person to be to be constrained. I would have bought a well. If I lived in Nebraska, I would have bought a Dodge Challenger because I could drive it. That's the car right. I want to get. But you can't fucking drive them anywhere out here. No, you can't open them up at all. You can't open anything up out here. No, unless it's two in the morning, and then you have like an eighty percent chance that they're going to be doing construction or. They're gonna. I, mean, I feel like the last five guys that opened up their cars on the 101 either went to jail or the hospital, yeah. right? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, like, who, I feel like somebody did this. Was it Sally? Somebody recently opened up, like, an Italian car on the 101 and just... Oh, and died. What, yeah, one guy died. died no, the guy from the, the tap out. Oh, right, right. Like just down died, there, right? yeah. He opened it, his opened his up down there. There's no opening up your car. Yeah, you yeah. can't. No. We live in Montana is where you can open shit up. That's right. Because you're not going to hit anything. You're not even going to hit a cow. You're going to hit a deer. Don't want, yeah, you hit no. a deer. There's some spots in Montana they don't have any speed limit at all, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think uh, that's, one, one, that's only two states I've never been. That's because they don't have any taxes in that state, so they can't afford police. Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah then everybody gets a gun. Yeah. yeah, everybody gets a gun. Just fucking yeah. let's just defend yourself, man. Call us. We'll get there within the half day. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if there's some I, I think that that's a great way to live. <laughs> to just defend it's your It's proactive. Shit. It's like getting a manager and agent and being like, "Okay, I don't have to do anything now." Oh, that's true. They're yeah. just going to they're going to help me out like cops are going to get there when they get there. So if you yeah. have an immediate problem, well, you should be prepared. You, Everybody you should, should be prepared. You should I, have I that have gun, gun behind the glass. I'll say that right now. Anybody who has a fantasy of jumping 